Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how-to channel where I make how-to videos sharing tips and tricks from web development, Salesforce development, and uh, mobile development. So on this video, we're going to learn how to change your GitHub keys with a much more secure uh, ECDSA key. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. So if you're using an IDE, uh, in my case, I'm using Xcode to, for my project and using GitHub. So any calls to GitHub, like a push or a pull, I'll be greeted with uh, this message. So you're using an RSA key with a SHA-1, which is no longer allowed. So what this means is GitHub has implemented some more security where they no longer allow keys that are less secure. So this is only happening for GitHub where you use the SSH protocol or the Git protocol. Uh, it doesn't affect HTTPS protocol that is working well. That is the one where you need to enter your username and password every time you do a pull or a, a pull. So what GitHub has done is they're removing two kinds of keys, the DSA key and the RSA with a SHA-1. And they're introducing as well um, a new standard that you, for hosting a key, which is the ECDSA. So there are many ways how to generate that key. Uh, the one I like is using the terminal. So if you open up the terminal, I like to go into my uh, SSH directory to look at what available keys are in there. So I have two keys in here. Uh, they look like they're both RS RSA. So we need a new key. Um, so there's a tool called SSH keygen. Should be pre-built in your Mac. Um, you put a T, which is a type. So for this type, instead of saying RSA or DSA, uh, we're going to put EC DSA. It's going to ask you where you want to save the key. It's going to ask for a passphrase, enter a passphrase. Cool. And if I do a list again, you would see that the new key has been generated. Once the private key, once the public key. We're interested on the public key because we need to store that to GitHub to tell him this is the new public key. So you can do a cat here and you could copy the string. So copy that, uh, go back to GitHub, sign into your GitHub account, uh, go under your profile here section go under settings under settings go to ssh and gpg keys and from here you would see all your stored keys so click on new ssh key paste the string that you just copied from the terminal and click add ssh key that should add that new key in there and depending on your ide it should already work but for xcode it still won't work even if I do a pull here it won't work cool uh, the reason it won't work is because you need to adjust your preferences in Xcode so on Xcode uh, click on preferences under accounts under source control accounts click on github you would see here it's scanning for SSH key uh, it's scanning on the SSH directory in your machine so set it to the new key that we just created and if it uh, doesn't show any error that means it could find that key matching on github cool so close that out go back to source control and let's try that again cool you can see that didn't return error and i'm able to now communicate properly with github with my new uh, ssh key so that's the tutorial, hope you like it. Um, you can check my other Git how-to videos if you want to learn more. Uh, don't for forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the comments below for any topics you want me to cover. Cheers, bye for now.